Welcome back to episode 2 of Sussex Farm with me, Jordison. So picking up from where we left off, roughly, although we are a few days ahead apparently, because I've been messing about off screen just trying to learn a few things and figure a few things out. But, we went to see Mr. Sealy P on the Sealy Estate and we had a chat with him. We had a nice picnic. We had a nice lunch in the picnic area here. And he does indeed want us to become suppliers for the bakery and the brewery. So both Sealy EG Bakery and Sealy P Brewery are now customers of ours. Which is great. It means that we're going to have to start planting wheat and barley fairly soon. If we want to be ready for harvesting and germination and everything like that. So we're going to head back up to our farm, Sussex farm. And there's a few things that we need to do. Obviously I couldn't feed the sheep in the last episode but I have managed to sort that out off screen and I've now fed them. Um, so unfortunately we didn't get to see it this time, but there will be other times throughout the year, throughout this series even, that you'll be able to see that happen anyway. Um, we have got some fields to plough this, this episode, and I will show, of course, everything that I'm going on about as soon as we get back up to Sussex Farm. So, I'm just going to trundle on up there, and I shall see you guys in a minute. And here we are, back at our home here, Sussex Farm. So, I'm just going to jump out the tractor here, collect any and all eggs from our chickens, ready to sell. There's a couple dotting about. We're going to go and sell those at 8 o'clock when the fruit and veg store opens. Because that doesn't open until 8 o'clock, so as soon as that opens, we can go and sell them. First things first, just going to go do that and show you that the sheep have indeed been fed. Not as I'm proving it to you, I just want you to see that it can be done. <laughs> and I was just struggling for apparently no reason, but there you go, they are fed. They have got water. So, as I said, we have got a couple of fields that need ploughing. This field needs ploughing here, field six. We own this field. But, we're also going to have to be careful. Because, I do need to buy something from the shop very quickly. It should be in miscellaneous, and it is the Vobtech. Um, where is it? Um, there it is, the Vopster, even. That's going to be handy for telling us um, soil temperatures, soil moistures, crop moistures, and things like that. So that is going to be helpful, and literally to get that up, you just do that. And if I want to point it at the ground here, hold circle. There we go. We're at 18.2 meters of sea level, and there's no fertilizer in that dirt, and it's got 10% moisture in the soil. So nice and easy. Let's turn this off so we're not wasting fuel. Right, so if we go into our trusty map here. You can see everything needs 
ploughing pretty much. But if we go into the growth stages, there are a lot of fields growing. Um, field 26 is already ploughed, so we don't need to plough 26. So we can potentially cultivate that and start seeding in there. Um, having a look. Yeah, so 6 and 11 are going to need ploughing. And 26 will need cultivating and seeding, which isn't a problem. However, do we have a plough? That is the next question. Do we actually have a plough? That is a cultivator. That is a sewing machine. We don't have a plough. Not a problem. That just means we've got to take a drive down to the shop. And we'll take this track at this time, the lint track. So I'm not getting things of it. it. Doesn't need to be a very big plow at all, so we can take the lint track. It's just no. oh, before we go down to the shop, actually, I have got into contact. You can probably see in the distance there some odd grey bits. I've got into contact with Sussex County Council now, and I've spoken to Councillor John and Councillor Sarah. Now, obviously, my poor old grampy he passed away, and that's why I have this farm in the first place. Um, so I had to inform the council that I'm now here, I'm now working on it, it is now a working farm again. Um, I have applied for an agricultural grant, they do exist. Um, whether I get or not, two different things. Um, but what they have told me, and what they have graciously started doing for me, if we go down here to here, we've got some kind of construction going on. Now, there's some kind of warehouse there that's been put up. You've got the excavator that's there, so you can tell that something's going on. So, Sussex County Council have very kindly decided to renovate this little area for us. And they've told us, told me that it should be done by winter. And that it's going to be something that can be pretty much invaluable to us. <coughs> so, <coughs> we'll just have to wait and see exactly what Sussex County Council are going to be giving us. Um, they don't give anything for free, so they're going to expect other people to be able to use it, I bet. But nevertheless, they were very nice to speak to. They even came and had a look around the farm, and they were fairly impressed, even though I haven't done much yet. So, not bad, not bad. But yes, hopefully by winter, they say that construction process will obviously be finished and my driving is terrible I'm just trying to stay on the road and it's not very helpful but yes so um, they're hoping to have that done by then So we've got to get ourselves a plough. We've got cultivators and cedars, so that's not a problem. Is it worth getting a cultivator and cedar? I mean... We've got the last of Grampy's pocket change. We've got just under £100,000 in the top corner there, you can see. But... oh driving into a headset, that's me not paying attention. How far, realistically, is that going to last? Especially through this first year. So I've got to think very carefully about what I buy and how expensive it's going to be. 
and I need to start having a look at ground temperatures. We'll have a look at that at the shop as well. But it's a very nice day and I can't waste it, so we've definitely got to get some farming done today in this episode. So here we are at the shop. We're just going to park up here. Engine off. And let's scoot you on over. Right, so, we need a plow. So, looking at plows. Not an extravagant amount, but we don't want too much. I mean, it doesn't need to be too wide. Two to three meters. I'd have thought would be fine. Three meters would be fine, I'd imagine, or even two meters with the coon. Yeah, we'll go. Engine twenty horsepower, and the one we're driving is the Lintner. Engine two. It should be all right just to get it back to the actual. And it's only 15,000, so it should be enough to get us back to the um, farm. And let's have a look at sewing machines. It's talking 52,000. That's a lot. That's a lot, a lot, a lot. thirty two, so that's not too bad. It's a little bit cheaper. <laughs> thirty one. A little bit more cheaper. Thirty four with Vader stat. So yes, I could potentially buy that. It's hundred and thirty horsepower machine. Engine 10 horse, but no, we'll, we'll, we'll buy this one. We will buy this, it's only 32,000. So that's fine. We've got both of these here now. So, let's hook up. First things first. We'll hook up the plow. Right, and I've got a feeling I probably should have had a weight on the front of this. But never mind. Whilst we're here, we'll have a look at this season's menu. So nothing's actually warm enough for us to start planting yet. The germination temperatures are all in blue. So it's still too cool to actually start planting absolutely anything yet. It's still too cool. Um, if we look at the, uh, hold on, temperatures over the next couple of days, let's get rid of that help window for quickly, there we go, so if we look at the temperature over the next couple of days, ground temperature today is 4, air temperature is 9, tomorrow we're looking at anywhere between 6 and 12, but don't forget, it's only half 20 to 8 in the morning, so... Got to remember as well, 20 to 8 in the morning, it's going to get warmer throughout the day. One would hope, anyway. So we're going to take this up to... Field number six first. That's going to be the first one that we work on. 
going to set the plough off on seal at field 6. Probably do it ourselves. And then we're going to plough field 11. Direct drill field 26. Depending on air temperatures, and we'll go from there. Actually we're going to use the vault truck. Of course we are. Plenty of horsepower for the job. So we'll just hook up the plow and we'll go down to field six. going to leave the worker to do that so let him get on with that and we're going to go and get that 
direct cedar with just trying to think what have we got that we can go and pick it up with it's in the mud apparently we have a Volta T series around we have a JCB around where's the JCB let's have a look is it in here Oh wow, looks like the JCB has been having some work done to it. Okay then. Oh no, never mind. Note to self, don't reverse the car onto the ramp. <laughs> Turn the radio off. Right. Let's go and get this cedar, shall we? So what we're going to do in field 26 we're going to start off with some barley that is eventually going to go to Sealy P Brewery um, and I keep telling you my driving's terrible. Um, I don't want to go there, I'm going the wrong way. Um, so yeah, the barley is going to go to CDP Brewery. We're then going to have some wheat growing in field 6, which will be going to CDP Bakery eventually, CDEG Bakery eventually, as well as eventually also getting cows and pigs quite soon, I hope. Um, that's the plan anyway, whether that happens or not. We'll have to wait and find out. I have not been here yet, so I don't know what this is. I'm just going to go and have a quick look. This is something I haven't seen yet. It's just building I haven't seen, that's all. Oh, there's a vehicle shelter there. Did not know that was there. This is all... This is standard, by the way, this here. And I genuinely did not know that this was here, so... Kudos, Alien Jim. Kudos, my friend. Because I did not know that none of this was here. Nice little. Oh, the driving really is terrible. So, as you can see, it's going to be nice and sunny today, apparently. Yeah, it's 10 to 8 in the morning. 9 degrees air temperature with a 4 degrees soil temperature, so still not warm enough in the past 20 minutes or so to plant anything but we're going to get this cedar and take it up to field 26 so here we are there's the cedar so what I'm going to do now I am going to Go and fill this up with some seeds. Once I've hooked it up, that is. And I will see you back at field 26. Ta ta for now. And we are back and we are in field 26. And I'm doing this differently to how I said I was going to do it. I said I was going to do barley in this field, but I'm actually doing wheat in this field. Simply because... I don't know why. Just... That's what happens. So that's how it's working.
I just love the curvature of these, some of these fields. I mean, look at this. The field is on hill. That makes things different in so many ways that people might not necessarily actually understand. Because I actually rolled down the hill, and it's harder to actually get up the hill. So yeah, there's so many things going on on a hill. And I'm just going to carry on planting the rest of this field. It might take me a little while. Oh no. Here's me... being a moron and planting this field. And... If we have a look, the air temperature, the soil temperature, I just don't think it's actually going to be enough. It's not going to germinate properly. Because of the temperature. So there's me doing that. And I shouldn't have been doing that. So, we will leave this down here for now. We will leave that as it is, because it's that part's already done. It's not going to germinate properly, but we'll leave that as it is. And we're just going to speed up time a little bit. 15. We'll put it on times 15 we are. And we're going to flip back over to here, and we're going to take a wonder. Just going to take a little walk down to where the worker is here, make sure he's doing a good job. He's probably not happy about his manager watching over his shoulder, but I just want to make sure he is. He's doing a very good job. Missed a few spots, but so did I, so I can't talk. And it's now 8.07 in the morning, so what we're going to go and do is we're going to go and take the Lintner. Oh, let's close these. Take the lint in here. And we're going to go and sell some eggs. So we're going to take a drive. We are going to find out where we sell the eggs, where the fruit and veg store is. We're going to go and find it. And we're going to go and sell these eggs. Because I believe we have quite a few in our on our person at the moment. If I have a look, we have statistics eggs in backpack 70. So we have 70 eggs on us at the moment, so let's go and sell them and see how much we get for them. I believe the fruit and veg stores down this way. I could be wrong. Trying to think now, actually. Is that it? No, that's the airport. That's the shop. Um, mm. I'm doubting myself now. It's never a good thing. Never, ever a good thing at all. Right, let's head this way. Pretty sure it's down here.
So, we can see that he's still not done yet. Which isn't an issue. What we'll do is we'll have a quick look at our sheeps. 73% health, 91% cleanliness, plenty of water, plenty of food. Which is good. Having a look at the temperatures, the air temperature has gone up to 11 degrees, ground temperature still at 4, so there's still no planting that we can do. So in that case, I am going to think I'm going to have to buy another plough. Speed the process up a little bit. Actually, I know what we'll do. We'll park this up. We'll jump down into this tractor. We'll jump, just jump the wall. Why not? And we'll do some ploughing. Why not? We'll watch some ploughing. Just the end of this. I'll put it on a time lapse just so it speeds it up a little bit, obviously. And I'll be back when this is finished. So we can start, go and start field number 11. And hopefully, the temperatures will have gone up because the air temperature has now gone up to 12 degrees. So we can hope and pray that the temperature goes up a little bit more.
living at all. And there we have it, that is fields 11 and 6, ploughed ready for seeding, however as you can see, temperature 12 degrees air temp, still 4 degrees soil temp, so not going to get any seeding done in this episode unfortunately. So that's going to be the end for this episode. We will see you again back in episode 3. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Until next time, enjoy yourselves.